Please, someone help me. I have made the terrible mistake of trying out the Downfall mod for Slay the Spire. And it is so good. I am fully sucked in again. Let's go into a run. It adds a whole nother mode where you play as the villains. It's pretty much the same, but with a, a twist. The experience of climbing the spire and then the experience of going down the spire is very, very similar. Just with a brand new deck, a new flavor to it. What I want to do, though, is continue my ascens ascension through the ranks of the Hermit, a lone and dead gunslinger haunted by the inescapable specter of the past. I am so impressed with Downfall. When you try out... Lose all gold, transform two cards, huh? Mm. Give me a random relic. Sure, that is okay, I suppose. When you try out a mod, it's often like, ah, this is going to be super unbalanced. It's not going to feel like it's part of the game. Downfall is so great at pretending like it was always part of the game all along. I hate each and every one of you filthy monstrosities, but thanks to Aldi Smooth Stone, we have nothing to fear. Um, it feels like this character would be part of the game. Like, not completely, because it kind of goes a little overboard. Let's see if we can grab another another attack. Oh yeah. Might as well play this. Um, it goes a little overboard with extra mechanics and extra types of buffs and debuffs. That one went a little... Sure, we'll take a short fuse. Went a little too hard. Ooh, this is a... This is a tough choice. I think we'll want to upgrade. Because Snapshot is very good upgraded. Short fuse is just more damage, but... We like more damage. Let's get a giant pile of damage on that short fuse, which gets discounted every time you play a strike. And we want to go down this way. Because I want to be able to upgrade more going up. Uh, let's throw away a strike, and maybe we get another defend. There you go. Actually, Snapshot would have done it. That was kind of silly. Snapshot, if it's dead on, which is at the center of your deck, it gets the extra effect. That was a bit of a misplay there. Could have gone a little bit more damage that way. Um, we'll defend once and strike once. And actually, we can defend another time. And pow! Actually, we could have gone lethal there. I got too much into the pattern of suffer no damage. Suffer no fool. All right, we're good. Everything's good. More damage. I need more damage. Headshot, I'm, I've never, I haven't been impressed with it, but it is a pile of damage, so we're going to grab it. Let's just remove a defend. Yeah? Yeah, because we have Snapshot, and Snapshot will defend me forever. So now we get the choice of going this way and maybe getting the Elite. I think I'm going to pass on that. Let's go down this path because there's two upgrades and Elite fights. Should be pretty good. Mm, if I use this... This will be dead. And then two defense will protect me. Son of a bitch. Headshot is not in the middle, but it, I'll put it back in the middle. Don't worry about it. Good thirst. Get wrecked. We play another defense. We could uh, also use the fuse, but it worked out just fine. Let me just uh, strike you many times. And watch as you suffer from all my shots. The gunslinger. The hermit. It is such a well-designed pile of cards. It is so impressive. In fact, it felt kind of underpowered when I was first playing. I was like, man, they the really went out of the way to balance this into making it into a struggle. Vantage is so good in my experience. I don't know 8, 820 values, but I really enjoy Vantage. I really enjoy Roulette. We do already have a high damage card. Let's go with Vantage. Upgrade cars as we go. We can uh, smith it into actually upgrading two cars. But you know, fighting the elites to begin with. I think I just want fat ass damage. Let's go for that. Upgraded snapshot that will also is a defensive card, so I like it quite a bit. Mm. Hmm. 
Probably don't want to covet anything right here. I could go for... I think if I use Memento, I will be able to kill one of them. I think it's worth taking the damage to kill one of them on, first, on turn one. Because this will do 9 and 9 is 18. This will do... Bleh, this will do 20. So that's 38. It's not enough. Glad that I did the math because it was not going to be enough. Maybe uh, get rid of a strike here. Fine. Do the headshot and I'll play my defend and I'll just suck some eggs. How about that? Also try the downfall mode. And it's also super fun, but I wanted to just do some regular old slaying of the spire. Fortunately, unfortunately, I do not have the damage. Oh, Memento would have done anything because they have the damn artifact. So I guess we'll do Vantage and maybe we'll get something amazing out of it. Not great. Mm, we need to get some damage done here. So how about the strike on the snapshot doesn't quite reach i'm gonna do it i'm gonna play it even though it does more damage to me i think the block from the eight is that enough no it does not counter affect it so it was a mistake <laughs> yeah, i should have thrown the fear potion that would have been a a better uh, strategy there either way at least you get to die and now the memento will matter a lot more. Because we do one of these. We throw a strike at you. I really need to stop and think. You know, how the dead-on effect is going to be affected by the way I play the cards. And, you know, it did do a little bit more damage. But that's fine. There is absolutely nothing else to do but to play my cards. And now we're just in the day's death spiral, spiral that should result in the death of my enemy. Mm. Mm. I think we want to get rid of you. No, actually, we just will not play the short fuse. So let me get rid of it. No, because I also need the <laughs> headshot to be in the middle. So get rid of this defend. Headshot goes over there. You die. Give me that vantage. And we get absolutely nothing. I've upgraded days. How wonderful. Uh, we can actually defend, but it makes no sense. So, a short fuse for you. You're not working out. This short fuse is not being uh, played all that often, is it? And uh, I received far too much damage. This should be pretty decent. You did. Hmm. Far too much damage in that fight. It feels like I could have gotten away with not getting damaged so hard. Give me this high caliber. I don't want to have curses right now. The Hermit. It revolves a lot about cycling your deck. There's a lot of cards about that. It has a lot of cards that actually use curses. Ah, and then it gives you a strike plus three. Yeah, let's do that. Mm, uses curses, which is pretty cool to finally have a way. I think a attack that I want in my hand every time. Probably high caliber, because it gives you that extra strike plus three. Snapshot is also very nice to be able to block, but if they, you put this in your hand every time, it's going to be on your leftmost side, which Makes it hard to use the dead-on effect. So let's use a non-dead-on effect that does decent damage. <sighs> Do I dare? I dare. I have a vulnerability potion. I dare. I cannot be stopped. Use one of these. Uh, what, what did damage to me just now? That counts as a curse? I never realized... This is a curse. <laughs> I never actually uh, realized that. Um, all right, well, that's too bad. I got damaged by it. I accept it, though. Does some really nice damage there, and then hopefully with the potion, we'll be able to murder, the, murder you real good. That will be 9 plus 30-something. 
If we're not there, we're really close. I'm, if I draw a strike, and we have a one in three chance, bud. One in three chance of grabbing a strike. Let's toss out this uh, headshot. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Either way, that's happening. All right, well, there goes a strike. Now we could do a defense snapshot and we'll suffer hardly any damage. Yeah, 33, we're one off. <laughs> defense snapshot makes it so that we'll suffer 20. 20 minus 14, which is 6. If I just throw this out, he hits me for 18. So I think it makes a lot more sense to do one of these. I mean, I could uh, meet you halfway, but nah, nah. There's, there's no way I'm not drawing enough to kill you, right? Right? Am I right? Short. Oh, perfect. Perfection. Wonderful. Short fuse actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. What's with all these bottles? All these bottles out of control. We want a showdown for sure. We have a lot of strikes. I mean, it's nice to have vantage, I guess, uh, to start with. Definitely not the kind of skills that I am excited about. We definitely want this. Man, this is just an outrageous pile of damage. I think I got lethal here. So we're going to spend the memento and just, and just pray that it is indeed lethal. Because you play that, then the high caliber, and then Showdown plays all the strikes. Even the ones that are upgraded. So, massive. It would have been nice to put this in the bottle. Snipe is also nice, but as it stands, let's go with the Flash Powder. Minus one to strength to my enemies is pretty good. Pretty decent. Ah, We'll start with Advantage. Give me something nice and upgraded. And here's a high caliber for you. And then a defense. Mm, this is a lot of damage, though. Nah, this is suffer no damage. This is just be a little bit more patient. So, when you try out mods, I think I already said this. When you try out mods, you always feel like, oh, it's going to be a cringe fest of some really overpowered nonsense. But no. This feels... Like the same quality as something amazing like the war, not with the war within, the long war from XCOM. Some serious great talent went into designing this mod and it feels almost like it's part of the video game. It is so impressive. Cold Shot is okay. We need some draw to make this happen, otherwise. I mean, we do have the advantage. I take it reluctantly. And then we have this scumbag at the end, huh? Let me just smith. Minus two strength to the enemies. Seems pretty damn badass to me. Probably should uh, upgrade that vantage pretty soon. Man, all damage, huh? We'll definitely play that because it enables the cold shot. Mm, I guess we'll try to get rid of this lime first. The fact that I have zero anything. Oh, flash powder is great. It's happening. Saves me a lot of pain. We're almost there. Maybe if I can find another defend. No defend for me. So I guess I'll play the high caliber. I can also have the option to get a skill, but this is only what? Only, what, seven damage? It's pretty decent, but we're gonna rest. Let's play one of that. Pretty annoying. Hmm. Okay, well, we're not gonna be able to attack next turn. Pretty sure I'm unable to kill you. So let's just do one of these. Too bad that the distribution was not the greatest. Play those because I can. Okay, I like playing cards. And just get rid of the damn slime. Oh, maybe with Memento would have, we would have made it happen, but we just need to defend and pass the turn. Mm, you dead. You super dead. Right? Am I right? Don't worry. Covet will 
like it's almost guaranteed to draw an attack. So let's do one of these. Pow, 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 pow. So good. Gambler's blue, very nice. Ooh, horror is very good. We do need some draw though. Oh yeah. No, it doesn't cost zero, it draws more. Hmm. With showdown and horror, it can get some some really gnarly damage. Let's just rest. I am too intimidated by this boss. Obviously, we're gonna play that memento. Actually, first advantage because yeah. Actually. Yeah, this is not enough energy. I don't have enough in my hand to play everything. So let's play that memento. Son of a bitch. I need to play this first. And then showdown. I don't need to draw anything. Oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> I didn't realize that the damage was so high. I'm too powerful. I, I cannot be... I cannot be slowed down by the likes of you. Get rid of the... Yeah, let's get rid of the strike. Flash powder is great. And defend and a horror. I don't want to attack nothing. Bruce makes it so that it's basically gives you temporary strength against this enemy. It's plus bru plus bruise damage whenever you land it on the enemy. And it usually doesn't last. But because of the way that one works. Do I want to prevent six damage? Nah. Uh, because of the way that card works, it does not get erased for a whole turn. All right. You're getting horrified. I am defending against your nonsense. And I guess I'm just gonna shoot at you. Because there's nothing else I can do. Mm. We are suffering only six. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh yeah, and then you can draw and then do absolutely nothing with it. Why would I play it? <laughs> yeah, the energy to play a damn thing. So this is 14. That will be enough, right? Yeah. Nine and nine. And then a big fat pile of damage thanks to the Bruce. Oh yeah, we're gonna totally beat this son of a bitch. Snapshot is awesome. Allows me to actually just attack here. And I kind of have to because otherwise I have no block. So you just eat three and move on with your life. I'm still gonna, I'm not gonna use my potions until they become like really necessary and make a big fat difference. Can I maybe discard this strike and this will get advantage to the middle? We use the snapshot. Actually first horror and then I miss the snapshot because I'm dumb. And <laughs> I'm constantly missing those dead-on activations because I forget I don't uh, think in freaking four dimensions and do it the way I'm supposed to but that horror is so good that horror is so good that short fuse is gonna hit the spot and we suffer another six which should be fine get headshot it a bitch actually probably is better to do the showdown because it all these will hit before he activates defensive mode right no he doesn't they didn't know that either way it worked out it's all good okay okay more horror more advantage more defend sounds good to me unfortunately i kind of do the advantage right but at least we suffered zero damage I actually probably could have uh, played a, a strike there. Uh, let's get rid of this strike between snapshot and the defend. We're good. We even get to shoot you a little bit more. And you know what? I'll take three damage. I'm not afraid. I mean, one damage. Well, this one's upsetting, but it still like does nothing to me, right? I'm just going to defend your nonsense. Thing is, I would rather take six damage. Oops. I'll rather take a little bit of damage. And be able to deactivate him next turn. Either way, he, they did. They super dead. Get wrecked, son. Moving on with my life. See you in downfall mode where I will get revenge on your in your name. These are all awesome. 
The solve has saved my anus so many times. Roundhouse kick is OP depending on the situation. Being able to st stun an enemy is so great. But often, it is so often, not quite a dead draw, but not something you're not you're excited about because so many times the enemy's just attacking, 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 attacking all the time. And then Purgatory. If we get an energy relic, it will be great. If not, I will rather get that dissolve. That being said, it is super good against the birds. All the fights that have multiple enemies is super nice. Uh, the defense here. I'm gonna go for the defensive card. I don't know what the right play there was. And with this guy, I think you always want that cursed key. Not so great with blue candle because I mean with blue candle I just play them whenever I feel like it, right? Uh Astrolabe will be also be nice, but if you can tell, this is a strike synergy card. He's also very good synergizing with your base deck the impressive part of downfall that what impressed me the most was their ability to find a niche that the base characters don't exploit none of them take advantage of having lots of curses none of them really have that much synergy with strikes and base strikes and defense i mean they had a little bit but you know what i'm talking about okay okay um like to get a campsite before an elite this is pretty decent and a shop. i really really want a shop also to begin with but there's nothing there's this one right here and that forces me into the buffed elite a fight that you you usually want to have a choice whether you want to face it or not i'm not gonna take that i'm gonna be a little cowardly here and we're probably gonna face this one and then the shop and then we'll make a decision whether we want to go over there that is the, the path I have chosen. You are attacking to begin with. Very rude of you. I don't appreciate you. This should put a... If I can get to that vantage, that would be great. We do have a energy relic. Just playing this defend and then this vantage. At the very least, we upgrade a, a defend, which is never not useful. I guess there are points at which it could be useful. It could be not useful. Play that memento and murder you real good. In fact, we're going to discard this dissolve because it is worthless to me. And just shoot the crap out of your anus. It is super satisfying. Where did that draw come from? I have no idea. Anyway, it is so satisfying to throw out a, a, a barrage of attacks. It's super fun. Let's do one of these and then do the and then the headshot is double damage pow mm. super fun to throw out tons and tons of attacks because of all the the gun noises <laughs> it's just a fun time to just be like pow, 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 shooting everything at once very nice a, a pretty decent first fight i have been totally neglecting my Potions, Tonic is very nice. Rugged is basically intangible, but instead of taking one, you take two. Mm. These are all good. What exhaust in my le in my deck? Dissolve exhaust in my deck. I definitely would want to bring back a dissolve. Uh, so probably throw away the skill potion. Gambler's Brew. Can save you in such a pinch. Ah, eh, let's just throw away that one. Ooh, cheat is very nice. Basically lets you scry, but you have to play the card that you scry. That is the way it works. Do I dare? Nah, let's go this way. <laughs> let's be a filthy coward. You get... Uh, uh, let's do the vantage, because it might give me a nice strike. But yeah, there you go. Why not take away one of your buffs and we play one of these? And check out this showdown. Unfortunately, it was not enough to get a kill, but I'm okay with that. We actually may be able to get it done. Not enough debuffs to get rid of that. So I guess we are just playing our cards. 14. Not enough. 
But I mean, I'm just I'm just playing cards here. Oh, this actually gets rid of two debuffs because it puts two of them. So by playing that, we save ourselves uh, a pile of damage. So it's all good. Hmm, you did. Get destroyed. Damn it, stop giving me potions! I think I'd rather have a power than a skill. Ooh, Golden Bullet is great. It's a little late. It is an overpowered attack that if you kill with it, you're gonna have a free attack eventually. Basically, they're both the same, but I like question marks in the second... In the second... Oof. I have three potions. We're fighting this. Um, in the second level, I do like playing... We might play this one. I do like doing question marks. They have some really good events. Man, uh... Um, showdown will go so hard. It will go super hard. I hate that you're debuffing me. Maybe we can murder you real good. May even be worth using Memento now that I think about it. I think with Memento we gotta kill. I embrace it. I embrace this damage. Also the power potion. Oof. Oof. Uh, eternal form for sure. Makes everything so cheap. Although this gives me free ways of defending myself. Let's go for it. And uh, could even grab the high caliber. Maybe this vantage is where it's at. Well, definitely this needs to be played. Oh, I, it's either it's a choice between killing or taking nine damage. You can also just play the tonic. That will save me seven damage. Tonic is way too good for that. I'm just gonna take a team like a champ. Take a team to the face. Embrace the fact that I shall suffer ter terribly for my choices. I will exhaust. I think exhausting this call shot is where it's at. Actually, no, I will exhaust the short fuse. Hmm, I want the defense. I just exhaust the cold shot. Man, but I don't have the energy for anything. Oh, if I play the defend, I can do it. This is so good, though. Oh! Yeah, exhaust the cold shot. We got eight. Block, play the defend, play this short fuse. I'm too smart. There you go, uh, freaking dagger. Am I smart or am I just too silly not to figure things out more easily? Okay, so dissolve is great. Let's get rid of this defend because we're playing dissolve, and then you're getting horrified, and then showdown. Get shreked. I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Oh, and now I completely forgot about this. I will get rid of... It is also very nice to, you know, thin your deck. It doesn't matter because you dead. Uh, sure, we'll play that. And then you get lethal by the golden bullet that now costs only two. That worked out pretty well. Ooh, scavenge. This is a snap pick. This is one of those cards that are kind of OP. 5-plated armor, 10 gold if it's dead on, but the 5-plated armor, I had runs that I picked 4 of those, and every run, every turn, I have 20 free block, it's kind of overpowered. Uh, I appreciate it though, I appreciate it a great deal. It's pretty annoying, this uh, pile of cards that I got right now, but we're gonna make it work, because the short fuse is gonna be a kaboom, boom, boom, boom. And uh, maybe, hopefully, Sacrificial Dagger or the Golden Bullet. I would have rather done Sacrificial Dagger, but the Golden Bullet is also nice to get it down to cost zero. I don't have any curses right now, just the Memento. Body Armor is very good upgraded. When it's not upgraded, it's okay. Let's get Coalescence for the Retain. There you go. 
not doing great. With health, give me that rest. It's all right. Vantage is upgrading all my cards. I have red mask. I have so many great ways of doing things. Upgrade a card, transform to go remove a card, and upgrade a random card. A random card? Hmm. Sure. And now I just picked up some block. So let's get rid of a defend. The thing is, with this guy, it is not so straightforward what you want to remove. Because so often, the defense have such great synergy. But I think we are in good territory of still getting real defense. And we have great COVID, which makes it draw a little bit more. I think we can handle this elite. What's the worst thing that can happen? Well, this guy can absolutely murder me. Liquid Void, huh? I think we want this to solve for sure. And this Vantage to upgrade a weapon. I mean, upgrade a, a card. Play the Dissolve. If I'm going to play the Memento, this is the only turn I can do it. Because everything else is going to be a nightmare. But I think it's okay to hold back. Mm. There's some pretty high damage stuff. It's like I need to set up some high damage. Otherwise, I will die horribly. But being able to play this Flash Powder and then keep the block, I think that makes the choice for me. And in fact, we're going to bring back this Dissolve and play another one. And basically, this means I'm going to obliterate this son of a bitch in a couple turns. Because we have Blur for three full turns. So this is the time I'm going to play this Memento. Here's a strike for you. Here's a headshot for you. I mean, you are doing 21. I guess we are playing some defense because we still get to keep it and we get to hold that ritual dagger. Very quickly, we're going to run out of block. Uh, one snapshot to be in the middle, so we can play it and then cold shot works. Draws a card. Covet to... I mean... Basically, anything I draw is good. So let's get rid of this defend. That was very nice, very nice. Short fuse for you. I think we're gonna make it. Still got one turn of block. So nice to get this. It's straight in the middle. Plated armor shall be great. We play the horror because it does a ton. Uh, one strike, one cheat. Oof, that ritual dagger will be nice. To have. I guess we'll just play the Coalescence and we'll uh, just retain this strike. Alright, well, it's over. <laughs> we either, either win or get wrecked. Actually, no, we still have the Tonic to keep us alive another turn. Short Fuse, very nice. We will defend for sure. 25 damage. Oh, baby! <laughs> Gotta do it. Uh... I mean, the golden bullet, if I draw it, I'll draw it. Gotta do it. Otherwise, I might be super screwing myself. Really? No golden bullet? Are you kidding me? Thankfully, we have that. Covet. Get wrecked. All right. Great stuff. You get a relic out of that. This is plus two block on end of turn. It is, it is just a worse metallicize, I guess. Mm. Spidey is very nice. Dive is very good and nice, and it's upgraded. This makes the decision for me. I would have probably gone with Spite otherwise. It's just more block, more fun. That's right, we have the Cursed Key. You know, it would be awesome to, you know, find uh, one of those cars that uh, use curses. It would be so great. <laughs> it's, not, it's not showing up. A second Dissolve goes pretty hard. Discounted Brawl, you gotta go for it. This literally, literally... Is flex potions every turn. This, I feel, is the most overpowered card in the entirety of the expansion. Uh, I mean, call it expansion, it's a. Uh, let me get rid of this freaking writhe. Um, the entirety of the mod. Juicy bracelet, huh? We don't have a lot of powers. 
we have it we have one power so it's hard to say orange pellets is any good thinking ahead is pretty nice we do need extra draw an extra dissolve though I think I'll go for the extra dissolve this is also badass as hell of course only when you're low on health it does a super pile of damage Am I, am I an adventurous buffoon? Do I dare? I dare, brody. Brody, we have that tonic. It's totally gonna save me. Memento, you say. No attacks for me. This is happening. But first advantage. Why? Why would you play the advantage when you are not really dealing any damage? I mean, you're not really getting any damage dealt to you. I mean, now that that happened, I really should have played that dissolved. Dissolve. Brawl is too good. Yeah, that was a terrible mistake. That was a terrible mistake. I guess we'll play the high caliber for reasons. Playing the memento was just not good there. It was pretty damn silly. Ooh, that scavenge in the middle, baby. Uh, it's painful, but I'll take it. Horror, also amazing. What do I want to draw here? Some good defense will be great. So let's get rid of this strike. Oof. A dissolve. Saves my ass. There you go. The pile of defensive... Uh, that's nine. Nine plated armor. That's just ridiculous. If we get some more scavenge, the run is over. I'll be set for life. Anyway, we have no real... Oh yeah, we do have some. One dead on. So might as well go for it. Son of a bitch. Do that, then dive. And then draw a card and do nothing with it. <laughs> sure, I'll I'll keep the snapshot. These days is pretty upsetting. Give me the other dissolve, that would be great. Just so you're no longer necessary, your services are no longer needed. I will love to have one of these strikes will hit the damn uh, prison, won't it? It did not. It's random. I don't get to choose. I guess you get golden bulleted. Oh, that was a mistake because the snapshot... It does one block, huh? It's alright because we get the giant pile of extra block. Works out. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of the strike. I want the cheat. To go come to the middle. No way. Ah. We'll get the dive. Get an extra plater armor. I'm telling you, man. It's just, you get plater armor running, the run becomes so easy. You get horror. You get dissolve and flash powder. I'm going for the dagger. Obviously. Trying to fish for that dagger. Alright, well, not happening. So I guess you're dying because I used far too much force. Heroic Bravado is good stuff. It gives you basically a... It's basically an apparition, but two damage instead of one, and it dissolves if you don't use it, but then it rolls back around. Very nice. Horror, for sure. That does put Headshot in a bad spot, but if you do Horror and then you do High Caliber... We are going to kill all these damn monsters. Headshot is 20 damage. Actually, they're gonna die, right? So let's use Memento. Kill you. Actually, 13, 15, 30, 27. A lot less damage there. Here's a headshot for you, a bitch. And we pass the turn. All right, looking good. When the little minions die on the first turn, always great. It's a, it's a great sign of things to come. And you might be intimidated by 30 damage coming your way. Not this guy. Not this guy. Because I have 37 block, bitch. So get shrekt. Always play that Bruce. It's so overpowered. It's upsetting how overpowered it is. And uh, we're just... Uh, how about the cheat? What would the cheat possibly do? Let's use the flash powder. Uh, this doesn't doesn't push it in the middle. It's still good enough to use. Because it's, you're basically using... 
There you go. Well, they, I mean, the showdown would be good, but let's just expand the player, not the player armor, but the blur. Um, using a one cost card to maybe get a really nice attack out. Definitely won the player armor. You are going to get golden bulleted. 21! You son of a bitch. <laughs> See if we can get grab something. Some strikes. That would be nice. Ah, the cold shot makes it so that this is not a humiliation. You are the real danger here. Let me get rid of you. And I guess we'll just attack the main boss. Still got plenty of turns to keep building up that armor. Don't worry about it. I don't want it to disappear, so we're obviously playing it. Uh, let's start with the strike to get rid of the armor. There you go. And then we play this, and we are coalescing. Keep that garbage. And uh, we have only this turn and the next thanks to the plater armor. I mean, to the rugged. See how it gets a little too much, too many icons? <laughs> the buffs and debuffs? A little too much. You are destroyed by the fact that you have three brews. And now we just basically pay a bunch of strikes. Maybe this will draw something good. Yeah. Get wrecked. Oh, I get to play everything. Very satisfying. I really love the design of this. This dude is so great. Okay, so we got 21. Let's hope for cheat. Let's play dive so that cheat has dead on. I think strike will do it, but it's random. Womp womp. So let's you do bo uh, horror. You get even more damage onto your face. And hopefully vantage. No, it won't draw anything. Man, I want to get this ritual dagger to do the thing. I'll just play this. Mm. Can I afford? It might look back. It might. So I'm gonna do one of these. And there's a chance it will look back. Don't protect your boss. Come on, come on, come on. I am not ready. To suffer uh, 45 damage. So you get attacked. To the head. Unfortunate. But I'll, I embrace it. Uh, okay. I need to end the turn. I have noticed very tiny. Very tiny bugs. That stuff that like that, that happens. Like super not serious bugs. But they do happen. Okay. So you are attacking for. If I play this it will be a lot. Is it worth it, though? I think I want... I'm just gonna play Vantage Scavenge Heroic Bravado. So that means I can play this. Where? Oh, because it's Centennial Puzzle. All right, well, uh, it did exactly what I wanted. So it's all good. We play Heroic Bravado because we kind of have to. I would like to do Horror. But I guess we can just do the Solve Golden Bullet. Golden bullet. Start there. And you can also... Basically, it's a choice between... Playing the Dissolve. Or killing the Cultist. I think we're gonna play the Dissolve. Prevents me from... Taking any damage whatsoever. To my player. I'm actually, no, because he was doing only... No, he was doing 10. It's fine, it's fine. It's all fine. Let's get rid... Of these strikes and this defend and then scavenge and then the short fuse murders you and we're hoping to use that ritual dagger and you really no way to draw cards huh well that sucks this will do the actually there's no way to get this to the middle all the the both dead on effects are so far from the middle so it makes no sense to play them let's just use that and just suck eggs i guess but now my plated armor completely ruins your life. Let's use the Covet on the Dazed. Because we may get another strike. 
Well, you get one of these. You get one of these. We coalesce. Get to keep the ritual dagger. One of these days, I'm gonna be able to use this damn ritual dagger. This is ass. <laughs> Do the dissolve, I suppose. And uh, see if we can use the. Mm -hmm. Get dazed, you piece of crap. Okay, we're gonna hope for that to loop back. You're not that serious of a threat. He is a serious threat, just not that serious of a threat. And now my plater armor will defend me forever. So good, so good. Hmm, you get struck. Advantage. And die. Yeah. And now the dagger should do short work of you, piece of garbage. Sure, we'll play the heroic bravado and call it a day. Actually, we can get you down to the 13. Please, I need the sacrificial dagger. I, I got damaged. Didn't even realize I was suffering damage there. We'll just pass the turn. Please. I beg you. Get wrecked. We need to upgrade that dagger. Otherwise, it's going to be trash. No, thanks. I don't like any of the things you offer me. Holy crap, we're still... We're still here? <laughs> still got a whole nother... Act to get through. We have another dissolve. We don't need to play that. Definitely need to play the Brawl, even though it's uh, so expensive. And we'll do Vantage High Caliber. Too bad about the lack of extra damage. Does Memento get... No, it does not get randomized. Maybe it does, but it didn't get randomized in this particular instance. Some pretty ass pile of cards that you got here. Pretty awful. <laughs> Here's some flash powder for you. And I guess we're playing the scavenge from all the way over there. No gold for me. Upsetting. Nothing else I can do. We're just gonna get a little bit of... A little bit. Oh, there's another scavenge for you. This is great. Yeah, yes. Three damage for three energy. Very fair. This is what I'm talking about, man. We're. If I do memento, you're gonna get destroyed, son of a bitch, every damn time. <laughs> I forget about the damn centennial puzzle. It's fine, though. Oh, this snapshot, I don't got it. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, we have bravado. Never mind. We're good. <laughs> Uh, as a high-level individual, he really gets pretty OP. Depending, of course, on what the hell is happening with your deck. Let's see if we can get that dive. Get even more plated armor. And now we are in Sacrificial Dagger land, uh, Waiting Land. So, here's his defend. Here's his set shot. 20 damage for you. No. Four less. And the horror also. I will keep the snapshot. It's very nice and cheap. Very beautiful. There's always a chance I may get wrecked. If you could... I mean, if I cheat and then it's three attacks, I will kill him without meaning to. So we're just playing that. Passing the turn. It is so crazy that I'm getting this much armor. There you go. Get Snekoed. Absolutely wonderful. This is decent, but I'm not gonna get it. It gives you extra damage every time you use a dead-on effect. This guy can destroy me, right? Really would like to upgrade the other scavenge, upgrade the heroic bravado. You know what? Upgrading this heroic brava bravado is going to save me more damage than resting will. Mark my words. Okay. Unfortunate. I think we want to use one Dissolve. Use the Vantage to upgrade a card. Very nice. Oh, that's very nice, actually. We're not gonna use one Dissolve. Because I don't have... the ability to do both. But I can simply... keep it. And then we'll play the High Caliber so we get the upgraded. And we'll keep these two. Get the upgraded strike. All right. Ooh, the showdown is pretty good. Mm. But Memento will be foolish. For I am receiving a pile of damage. So let's just play one of these and see what happens. Very nice. I'm uh, 
Hmm. I guess I'll defend. Defend, dissolve. Oh, the cheat. Cheat could be really good. Dissolve is always getting played. So we can play now. Brawl, for sure. Get a cheaper uh, brawl out there. Very nice. Uh, we suffer zero damage. Excellent. There's my other dissolve. Gone. So you get 21 out of that. We need to wait a little bit longer. We're going to play this so that goes away. And now the Flash Powder will take away the, the strength from the boss. There you go. Man, zero damage. Huh? So zero damage drawn. I li really didn't want to spend my silver bullet, my golden bullet. Oh, actually, it's a great time to use that because it also draws a pile of crap. Uh, oh, but I wanted to play scavenge. I am a little, um, little stupid in the head. But uh, hey, it does kill you. So that's decent. I wanted the money. But the five plater armor is too good. I mean, this is two plater armor. I am keeping some block. So let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it'll loop back around. Don't worry about it. Okay, you are literally already blocked. So it's all gravy. It's all free strikes here. 32 damage. Snapshot first, then. Actually, cold shot. 14, huh? Too bad about the short fuse. I can't use it. 31, yeah. So my beautiful dissolve. This is just literally worthless. It does draw something. Haha, <laughs> five damage. Get wrecked. All right. All my blocks are gone. Let's see if we can get the 10 gold out of that scavenge. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Oh, yeah, I can. I totally can. This draws a card, though. You don't want to draw a card just yet. Let me use the scavenge, and now I draw the card. All right. Sure. Maybe we'll draw 20 strikes. Heroic Bravado. What a fortuitous get. Scavenge. Heroic Bravado. It, it keeps going up in cost. It makes it difficult to use later on. But pretty badass to get 16 armor. Every, every end of turn... And now is a good time to use this assault. Uh, maybe I should use one of my pile of potions, but it really doesn't seem necessary. Just keep them. We may not get a potion out of the out of this scum lord. It would be great to get that. I mean, I'm already talking like I'm already. I already won. We're still far from the win, but it does feel pretty damn great. Might as well cheat. Oh, I have nothing in the, in the draw, huh? Let's do one of these. Get rid of the short fuse. Uh, sure, you'll do a little bit of damage, a little bit of defense. So good. We'll carry on. Uh, the damage is a little lacking for sure. Let's see what we got. Absolutely, a short fuse is huge. Uh, here's some damage for you, and I don't really care about retaining that. So we're just uh, damaging you. It's just silly. It's just silly. And why not put this on, right? Basically saves me in the future. And then if I use this defend, we still have one rugged in the chamber. So good. Sure. I upgrade another one of my cards. You get showdown. You get more plated armor. Which is snapshot for you. Eat it. With a pile of fries. You little bitch. Let's do this cold shot and then cheat. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> I get to keep murdering you. Why not? We get to keep this defend. I keep to all these rugged stacks. Two damage? Pathetic. Pretty uh, horrifying, though. The level of... Like, the damage ain't here. The damage ain't here. I, it is worrisome. There's no reason. There's no reason. Just, just pass it on. I'm hoping for that dagger lethal. I'm not going to be heartbroken if it doesn't happen. With that amount of bruise, though. Oh, wait. This is... You need to die. <laughs> I just now realized. 
You need to be dead right now unless I want to use my tonic. You go. Very nice boss fight. Hell yeah, brother. All right. Overwhelming power. It's nice, but I kind of make do a lot of damage to myself. We have zero curses, so this is literal garbage. Fatal Desire works very well with Final Canter. <sighs> Fatal Desire is super good in hallway fights. Do not play it in... We're gonna use it. Do not play it in a boss fight. You will dearly regret it. Never gonna touch this crap. Adding a slime into this discard pile is just awful. Even if it gives you a little bit of energy, it just ruins boss fights. Absolutely destroys boss fights. And this replaces the whole locket. First time you draw a curse each turn, exhaust it and draw two cards. Upon pickup, obtain two injuries. This is pretty badass. I think it's much better. Uh, I wish I had grabbed the other rare card. We're kind of stuck here in this situation. All right. We got lots of money. Are we fighting the heart? The answer is no, because I am doing Ascension 9. But we're trying to beat Ascension 20 with the heart. That's where it will be at. Uh, I am liking this mostly just for the shop. And then we get this elite and this elite. Both of them before resting. Let's start it. Let's do it. Scavenge in the middle. Sign me up. Cold shot. Here you go. Flash powder. Hell yeah. Everything gets diminished. Pretty ass pile of, uh, of draws, though. I guess I am playing Vantage without anything. Oh, I forgot that we have plate or armor there. Uh, this run is very good. There's no question about that. Might as well play this Fatal Desire and play the cheat. Absolutely going to brawl. Give me this pile of block that is going to solve the spiker problem. And in fact, I can play these injuries and I actually get three cards out of it. Horror for you. More dissolve. A more plater armor. And next turn. Ooh, next turn. Your game destroyed. Completely forgot that this is gonna explode. <laughs> it's 30 damage. Oopsie. Didn't even pay attention to that. But it's uh, embarrassment of riches when you're actually able to not pay attention to an exploding <laughs> an exploding idiot like that. 33. Just play. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, we also need the... Give me one of these. We need... Sacrificial Dagger. Pretty damn important. To use it to murder my enemies. You dead? Might as well play this. Why not? I am so freaking rich. Is there a reason to stall? I think we're all done with all the all the nice things that we're gonna have. So you're dying now. What an experience. Whenever you are dealing with spikers so easily. I mean, we don't really have the means to use all these curses. But whenever you draw a curse, you draw more cards. So this is actually beneficial on the first turn. There you go. Heal to full. Now give me some money. I mean, let me spend some money. Matryoshka. This basically will give me an extra relic, which seems kind of dumb. Might as well just buy the relic. At the end of your turn, retain the highest cost card in your hand. That sounds pretty great. Yeah, we'll go with that. And remove... Like, we don't want too many curses. But this is fine. This is actually beneficial to me. I guess we can just toss a defend. We're at the point where <laughs> we're getting a ton of defense through all the other methods. So we can just carry on. Alrighty, alrighty. Dissolve the, the curse. Yeah, yeah, they didn't realize that he exhausted. I guess we can just do double dissolve. There's nothing else that is all that important. Although I am... I am retaining this dissolve. But nothing else in my hand is exciting, so might as well play both of those. And get 20 bajillion turns of armor. Man, that's just OP as hell. Um... 
Okay. No real way of drawing. What is this cheat though? Yeah, I'll take I'll take the scavenge. I'm gonna show down for you. And there's zero reason not to play that. Oh, what I sh I could do is play that uh, curse and draw a bunch of cards. Anyway, this is the power turn. This is, we are setting up all of our our wonderful uh, turns. There goes my heroic bravado. He has dissolved into the ether. Absolutely outrageous pile of cards. Here's horror for you. I love horror. Hmm, 24 damage, huh? Let me get rid of it. You are annoying me. Do I have any dead shot? I do. But it costs too much. This draws me three cards. Don't really care. I'm just killing you real good. And it's basically impossible to get to the side. So how about you take 20 damage to the head? And uh, let me retain the middle card. Is it random? It's random. All right. Or maybe it's just the leftmost. Either way. Bruh. All these damn injuries. What I can do is dissolve one of them. I want a snapshot to be in the middle. This is just out of control. Give me... Give me... Freaking showdown. Get away. You dead. We're just waiting for it to cycle around now. I don't really care about anything that's in my hand right now, so... Just throw out attacks. We're again in the Sacrificial Dagger waiting room. Ritual Dagger. I keep saying Sacrificial Dagger because I'm dumb. Uh, question is, do I have enough damage to get this done? There's too much nonsense on screen right now. Don't worry. Actually, this showdown will not kill anything. Yeah, there you go. Get destroyed. Liquid Void is super badass. Go away, Skill Potion. Love Glare. Glare is very nice. On demand, weak and vulnerable. I am adding way too many cards to my to my deck. Put another one in there. It's a good one. Don't worry about it. You get to draw wonderful cards. Mm, definitely won't do that. Scavenge is now in the middle. If I play this Vantage... I'll right do the damage, I think. Even though it's only seven. Eh, just play that any side. Then 14. Anyway. I don't know if that was worth it or not, but whatever. Probably not worth it at all. Gotta play this or it will disappear. Showdown and then dissolve. Cheat could have been good. Probably should have done cheat because it's always a good chance of getting something really good out of it. There's no way to vul vulnerably fight you, is it? So let's just throw away this dagger so that maybe I can draw something better. It is all a pile of ass. So you just get struck in the head and we carry on with our lives. Keep forgetting that you retain the highest cost card. Okay, so I have a, a giant pile. Of, uh, a giant pile of block. So I might as well play all my junk. We have reached the point in the run where uh, this deck got so good, I'm just playing cards now. It's time to just play random cards. <laughs> just win because I am too good at the video game. This beginning was pretty rough. But we are set. We're set for life. This showdown goes extremely potent po, 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 po. Uh, the short fuse also and 39 damage huh I think I've suffered no damage so here's me drawing three cards four headshot ritual dagger <laughs> perfect okay I'm done I'm done putting things in my deck we could actually fight the heart just need to fight this guy, get the key, get the key. Am I a masochist? I'm one hour in. I'm not a masochist. I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> this, this is part of the reason why 
I don't do Slay of Slay the Spire playthroughs because the runs, especially the way I play it, which is giving too much thought to really trivial things and then doing the misplay anyway. <laughs> it's, uh, it takes so long. It takes forever for me to get get anything done. Fatal Desire for sure. Do I want to draw three cards? I think I would rather just play my cards. And then the dive. Get that plater armor is super good. And we probably will use uh, uh, potions in this one. This one it looks pretty gnarly to be able to withstand the abuse from this terrible monster. Rugged though, rugged. Uh, it's very nice. Um, I think the big weakness in this deck is zero AOE. There's just nothing to do AOE. So you know, it's it's a rough one. To manage that. Mm. The solve is not going to save me here. I need to destroy these pieces of crap. I do have a good strike. If I had horror, that would be perfect. So we're going to throw out this cold shot. And we're going to play this injury. Draw three cards. No horror. Snapshot is very nice. Okay, we'll play this snapshot on you. And then play cheat. Oof, but I, I'm dead. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not dead, but I am suffering terribly if I go with that. Cheat can be really good or a complete whiff. Here's me putting my life on the line. Dissolve is the way to go. I, I will like the horror because the strike will kill that one and that one. But here, yeah, dissolve needs to happen. Uh, this will save me a little bit. I mean, I do have potions that I probably should use. How about we use the liquid in the void and use this dissolve and then play the dissolve? Okay, but crisis have been mostly averted. You die? Is there a reason to play this? 25, 34, and then the 9 will get through. So if I weaken you, that will not come to pass. Only the 2 damage will get through. It does take my rugged away. But it's decent. Horror. Really need to upgrade this. You get glared on, you get showdown. Okay. You take one of these. Ah, I don't really want to. Yeah, I guess so. We can do that. 12, huh? If I play this and I play this. Not enough, but close. Good. All right. She's the uh, crisis has been mostly averted. Just defend this ass. We gotta play that brawl though. Coalescence and the defense should get me there. Does it? Yeah. That's eleven. That's exactly. That is way too optimistic. To keep the ritual dagger, that ain't gonna happen. Just keep a regular strike. Oh, was, that was two. That was silly. I could have uh, <laughs> kept another one. Alright, give me that plater armor. You get weakened, weakened and vulnerable. Sure. I'm not worried. Let's get rid of uh, you. Just dissolving evil. Garbage. Get horrified. There you go. And then showdown. That's good enough. I probably could have played the short fuse. Like I said, once you avert the crisis, you're just playing cards. You murdered. 13 damage. Let's see what cheat brings out. Horror is great. Because it's not just what it applies, but it makes it last a couple more turns and keeps 
piling it on. It is outrageous. Oh, outrageous is the fact that I cannot uh, freaking kill you, but whatever. All right, snapshot is nice. Heroic bravado is nice, but you know what's not nice? The pile of damage that's coming my way. Don't like it. Maybe it's time to get rid of this heroic bravado. At least I can kill you. We do have one rugged. So as long as I play this, we're fine. Because this plater armor totally works out in my favor. All right. Please die. You don't die. I need to actually kill you. I guess this showdown will do it, though. Pow, 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 pow. Mm, and it plays them at random. It just so happened to be perfect. <laughs> uh, let's just solve one of these injuries. It's going to be a little much. Another showdown? How the hell did you come across this showdown? Uh, we're going to need to do some damage here. Having the dissolve is nice. But this needs to happen. We need to get her down to death. So that now the ritual dagger does its job. Well, that was upsetting. That was an upsetting ass. This is very good. And it's upgraded. Sign me up. It gives you the three highest rarity cards in your deck it's super great there's one that i really wanted to upgrade and that was brawl right brawl is the the, the big cheese here there you go uh instead of five instead of three is so op Grimling horn absolutely you sign me up we carry on all right this guy can be a problem to begin with and then with our incredible ability to be incredible we'll be fine this headshot really hits the spot. Probably should do high caliber on the strike. Yeah. It's really nice to have a cheat. To play other things. So this dead man's hand. Basically will draw the solve and heroic bravado. Between the two of them. Can probably get away with all kinds of murder. It is a tragedy that there's no showdown in my ma in my mouth quite a tragedy indeed but we also have these two rugged hmm give me a dissolve eh it's just six damage it's ass it's not good enough much better. And because I did enough damage, we'll, we'll do one of these. There you go. And I really like the entire mechanic of the Hermit. Where it focuses so much on cycling your deck. There's I had a, this deck that was constantly cycling. Like, literally every turn, I was able to cycle through the whole deck of 20 cards. Because I kept discarding my full hand. It was a, a really fun time. Anyway, that's 39 damage coming my way. But uh, if only I had a showdown. Oh, wait! I do have a, show, a showdown. Makes everything better. This brawl will be great. But we are not terribly concerned about that. We'll just do the dissolve. Oh, no. That was the right call. Uh, but it's okay because we get to hold it. So it's fine. Mm. Not a whole lot of damage, huh? Not a whole lot of damage. Two turns. Oh, but I do have a rugged. Basically, it's a free turn right now. Let's do one of these. The scavenge for the money. And the brawl. We're going to take it in the head. But it's okay. And now we should have enough damage to prevent this. And never mind. We have a, a freaking bravado. So it's all good. I would draw, if I were to play the thing, a showdown, but then I will discard all my strikes, so it's pretty damn silly. But look at the pile of damage that these strikes are doing. It's just silly. I, just my plater armor could withstand it. Alright, it's all good. Another short fuse, these are all trash garbage cards that I don't care for. 
Do I dare? I don't need to heal. Healing is for buffoons. Upgrade all my cards. <laughs> I love when I get to afford to do that. Hopefully I will not regret that immensely. And you may think, well, now going to the campsite is a waste of time. No, it is not a waste of time because I get to not do a hallway fight. And now we do the elite fight. We're going to be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Definitely not going to destroy me in my hubris. Mm, definitely want to play this. The snapshot is great. Now we do the vent. Actually, we probably want to do the coalesce. Just to retain. There we go. Too bad no dissolve. But the nice part about this piece of trash is that you. I could have retained that. Maybe. Eh. It's that you get this quote unquote free turn to draw the high value stuff definitely want the heroic bravado and whichever you keep is good enough for me it was random I'll keep that one I don't know if it, like I said I don't know if it's random or you keep one of them you keep the leftmost so this is still my highest cost card I can still keep it you get a cold shot because why the hell not you get a showdown because I am the greatest uh, this will draw cards but I think I'll rather do horror and then scavenge and do a ton more block and thanks to this dissolve I will not be punished by, by anything there you go uh, this cheat can maybe find a brawl I don't know why these are five. Oh, because it's upgraded of course Everything sucks except coalesce. Definitely don't want to play the golden bullet. We'll be pretty silly. We can play the high caliber just to get the strike in the rotation. And we're good. Do I want to display that? No. Three cards to retain. Give me that. The ritual dagger is too early for that, so we'll just take the strikes. Maybe we'll draw a, sh a showdown. The next turn. Hmm did not but I can draw three cards if I play that let me get rid of this right I want to get rid of one card slot so I can draw three I did not do that right <laughs> that was pretty silly we'll do the snapshot I guess I wanted to get a showdown that would be great Beggars can be choosers, though. I will try to retain the golden bullet. There's no way I can do that. Just play your strikes. I'm doing the short fuse. And this is decent enough. Throw out the golden bullet. Nothing I can do about it. Look at that giant pile of block. We're still good, and there's also a rugged. I am putting way too much thought into a fight that's already won. Oh, you are super immune. So we're going to do one of those. And horror and brawl. And we'll be fine. More up, more up. There goes my pile of block. But now it's my chance to murder you. Get rid of that. Mm. I guess we'll just do damage to you. I really want a ritual dagger, though. All right. Well, we get a pair. Delicious. Very juicy. Sure. It's a giant mountain of block. And we are finally close to dawn. This is a great draw. Actually, this... Yeah. Vantage. Look, even we get even a cold shot. For one damage. This and then the fatal... Fatal whatever the hell, Fatal Desire. And this will keep me defended for the next couple thingamabobbers. Turns. Four for everybody. No strikes, huh? What a tragedy. I guess we're playing Brawl. And then a Golden Bullet for your anus. Probably want to kill you. 
There's no way I have enough damage to kill. Yeah, yeah, I do. Never mind. Never mind. Ah, I used there this cheat. Bruh. <laughs> Just play this dissolve. Uh, I keep that block. It's all good. They may be extremely deadly jaw worms. But I am the most badass dentist in the West. There's nothing you can do against me. Too bad to win without... Too bad to win with all this gold in my pocket. Regret? I have no regrets whatsoever. Come on, give me a, one of them. One of them showdowns. I have too many cards in my pocket is what it is. I have too many cards in my... In my deck. I guess we can do a covet. Mm, still no showdown. Anyway, these people have 10 brews. When I say people, I mean these pieces of trash. Ritual dagger. Ritual dagger. You can do it. We're drawing the whole... Yeah. 41. Not enough. I almost did it. Now, 61. Burst. All right. Body armor is very nice, but I think we have plenty. We, we have a great deck. Rest just to feel good. And we do the timekeeper. Here's where it's actually not trivial. We want to put some thought into it. Clearly, we want to set up all our nonsense. There, there. And either Vantage or probably want to do the Dead Man's Hand to play a high-value card. There's the Dissolve. Actually, it's just these three. I thought that I had more rare cards. Let's see there, Dissolve, Heroic Brav Bravado. None of them are all that interesting, not all that useful. So let's just go for the Vantage, and at the very least, we draw a little bit. Let's play the Flash Powder, and uh, call it a day. Let's see, it reduces the strength of this piece of scum. And uh, we're just going to keep setting everything up. Because we are now 28 block. It's, n it's not worth it. But I, it is worth weakening you. And then the brawl. And then horror. There we go. Yeah. Great stuff. Feels like the first loop. We're just going to set thing things up. Let's do one of these to get rid of you so I can dive. Two more cards. We're basically good. And this is a coalescence. One more card. Uh, 38 damage, huh? Because of all the bruise. 34 damage. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll keep... Mm. Snapshot and manifest. I'm always so wary. Of being murdered by a sudden spike of damage. That looks pretty good. This needs to happen. No strikes in my hand. No strikes in my hand, you say? Do I want to start dissolving? I guess so. Let's do cheat. I didn't realize I had nothing. <laughs> Alright. Well, you can get weakened. And let's tell, start dissolving. Unfortunately, I, I don't want to spend the card to throw out the cold shot. Okay. What a nightmare of a hand. Clearly we don't care about the ritual dagger. It would be great to play horror and then be able to play this. You know, it's... Eh. Let's try and, and see if I can retain it for massive damage. Well, now that I don't get any draw, what, what do I have in there? Horror will be so great. No horror? How dare you. Let's just play the golden bullet. Only 29 damage is pretty ass. But I accept it. Anyway. Mm, we are retaining the block, so I might as well play that. I guess uh, it's a headshot for you and a couple strikes. I hate it. <laughs> I hate not being able... To murder you real good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we 
retain that. Let's retain the strike. 51 damage. Oh, I'm already covered. We have nothing to draw. Horror for you. That is a lot. Feels like I really need to play the heroic bravado so it doesn't dissolve. And this is only 40 damage. It's not good enough for me. So... Eh, let's do one of these. Oh yeah. We're only generating 16 plated armor. Only 16. Oh, there's another dissolve that pleases me greatly. 15 Bruce, just now realized. Can I get there? Yeah, I can put Headshot in the middle if I do one of these. 48. Good enough. Now we are now keeping the block for a bunch of turns. You get glared on. Horror is so good. Showdown also great. Actually, it's still good. Yeah. We'll play the cards. They count as playing the cards, so it does screw you over in the timekeeper. But it's still fine. Another one of these, huh? Oh, you're half health. We gotta go now. It's a ritual dagger there. This is, will basically draw these three cards. So make sure you keep one energy available. You have 15 brews. This is the perfect situation. Okay. Here are the strikes. It'd be silly to play that defend. Do that. Actually, cheat will do it too. Cheat will do it too, so I don't have to do either. Yeah. So, here you go. Ritual Dagger. 56 damage. Pretty decent. Now he's going to heal up the piece of trash. Showdown is not so great when you are fighting the Timekeeper. So that will be three cards played. Now we, we're looping. Because then I'll do Manifest and Short Fuse. And I'll probably have to play this injury. So I don't die horribly. Or rather, you know, only have one card to play. There you go. Actually, Decay is much better to be played. There you go. Everything works out. Timekeeper has been slain. I say. 14 damage, huh? Well, claiming victory a little too early. Let's see if we can get that horror. Love it. I'm just going to play all my cards now. We're almost there. Not quite. That is a lot of damage coming in. Oh, never mind. I have so many... Actually, we also have liquid memory. Might as well... Might as well uh, throw another horror on top of that. We don't have enough to kill. But this horror will absolutely murder you in a couple turns. Oh no, 14 damage times 3. It does nothing! It's a trash. 25 brews. You have been made into a hermit. I wanted to do a one hit kill, but headshot to finish it up. An hour and a half is a little too long. This is what it takes. Slay the Spire run. The hermit wins. Ascension level 10 unlocked. If you are a Slade Spire aficionado but never delved into the mod scene, there's only one mod you ever need to try. Downfall will rejuvenate this video game for you and make you addicted all over again. It is so, so good.